semi-final match of the tournament. Right now, we've got uh, Evan Cameron uh, versus Bohan Lee, uh, both excellent local players here in Toronto. Indeed. And uh, let's see, Evan's running a scum list, Bohan running a rebel alliance list. Over on Evan's side, mm -hmm. looks like we've got uh, Guri, Forlom, and Palop. So that's actually a pretty, uh, pretty common group of pilots, I think. Uh, Guri, without maneuver and advanced sensors, is solid. Um, it's really hard to beat, I think. Yep, uh, sometimes known as the correct Guri. Yes, the correct Guri. Uh, the only other thing you could throw on there is afterburners if you uh, have the points for it. Um, but other than that, it's, uh, it's a, just a perfectly solid build. Um, Forlom with elusive, advanced sensors, triple zero, and mist hunter. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is a solid little combo as well. It's a bag of nasty. Yeah, it really is. Uh, Forlom being able to hand off that stress every single turn um, after doing those red maneuvers, which recharges elusive, um, allowing him to advance sensors the next turn or like stop multiple turns in a row. It's great. Uh, one other thing that um, people don't... Um, necessarily realize about forlums you can pass that stress off to a friendly ship as well indeed yeah uh, if uh if you've got a friendly ship nearby who you know will be doing a blue maneuver the next turn uh and palop uh who steals focus and evade tokens uh with um debris gambit and moldy crow uh solid little uh hawk uh really impressive little hawk actually uh, the hawks are so much better than uh, they used to be in first edition Mm -hmm. um, that primary attack and uh, um, uh, plus the turret just make them give them a lot of uh, a lot of coverage for their abilities. And the uh, three dice can hit like a truck. Yeah, exactly. Those three dice make them as powerful as an X-wing or whatever else. So uh, mm -hmm. they are nothing to sneeze at uh, anymore. And over on the right hand side, we've got Bohan Lee, mm -hmm. uh, Canadian Nationals champ from some years back. Uh, we, and he's flying some skinny rebel ships. He's got Wedge with no upgrades. He's got Luke with no upgrades. He's got Thane with no upgrades. And he's got Sabine with no upgrades. That's really interesting. Not even a um, not even supernatural reflexes on Luke or anything like that. Just servo motors on all three of the X-Wings. Yep. Um, I've never seen anything so, uh, so slim in terms of a, a rebel list like this before. Um, that being said, they're still pretty effective ships, even without the upgrades, uh, for the most part. Um, those three dice attacks and the uh, um, servo motors allowing them to boost on occasion, um, they're solid. Nothing wrong with that group of ships at all. And really good pilot abilities. Luke is always getting, uh, getting force, force charges, yep. Wedge is stripping agility dice, and Thane is flipping up... Um, crits. Uh, flipping up crits and causing problems for, for folks. Um, yep. And then we've got Sabine Wren. Sabine in the attack shell. I'm not even sure if I remember what Sabine does. Can we bring up that card, please? Uh, so before she, she uh, activates, she's able to booster barrel roll. Yeah, just that, just plain old booster barrel roll. Right? And you'll notice in the card there, she can go from a barrel roll to an evade. Oh. So she can do that before she activates, program a blue maneuver, get an evade, and mm. then with her perform action phase, take a focus token. So Sabine can double token, oh, which wow. is why people love her. I haven't actually noticed that before. That's impressive. Um, mm -hmm. So it looks like we have Sabine moving first, which means that uh, Bohan is first player, which was something I was curious about because I feel it in this matchup, if Guri does not move after Bohan's fives, mm -hmm. it's going to be really, really hard for Evan. Yeah, Guri, be, Guri being able to move after Luke and Thane is going to be a huge boon for her. Um, that said, there's still Wedge coming after uh, after Guri, so Guri's going to have to pay a lot of attention to um, to Wedge's positioning uh, to make sure she doesn't get caught out, especially with his ability. Right? Mm -hmm. He's the, he's going to be uh, going to be the one who's going to be able to push damage through on Guri if anyone can. Yes, and as we see, Bohan has positioned Wedge in order to threaten a flank right. with Guri. So Guri has to immediately worry about Wedge zipping in and hurting her. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I, one of the best tricks that Evan has is to position that Mist Hunter in such a way that he can throw stress on the X-Wings and slow them down. But the fact that Bohan has four ships rather than, say, three or two makes it uh, not as powerful an ability as you might 
think being able to throw the stress out yeah yeah absolutely absolutely which of course happens at the end phase Mm -hmm. um it's possible he'll get a second stress uh with zero 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 so um and uh just uh for those of you turning in uh or tuning in now just a bit of an overview as to what we're doing here with the ptl open um, mm-hmm. So the Prototype Toronto League is a local league uh, in which uh, the, the basic idea is over the course of each season, a uh, couple months or so, um, you are not allowed to fly the same named pilot twice. Uh, that is, the idea is to encourage creative list building. You're supposed to, uh, if you fly Luke in one match, you can't fly him again in the next match. Uh, you've got to pick something else. Um, the idea is, you know, you'll try new things, try different things, maybe reach for the bottom of the barrel and come up with something creative. Um, and so we're taking that uh, same philosophy here to the PTL Open. Uh, contestants or participants? Contestants. contestants. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's late. Um, participants uh, were supposed to bring three lists, um, each that is uh, uh, unique with no, um, no duplicates of the same named pilot. Uh, and so uh, each of these players, uh, Evan and Bohan, uh, used the three lists during the Swiss, and I believe both of them used each list twice. Yes. Uh, probably. Uh, and now that they're in the top cut, uh, what we've done for the top cut is we're saying that you have to use each list once. Um, mm-hmm. So, um, which means whichever one of these two goes into the final, they'll have to use a different list than they used in this game or in the top eight game. Uh, that way, you know, they're forcing them to be creative and bring stuff that is useful in every, um, in, uh, in uh, multiple engagements. Yeah. And Evan, Evan at least has said that he used his best list in his first round. <laughs> yes. Knowing that there's no sense bringing your bad list if you're not going to advance. <laughs> True. You can't, you can't save it for a game that doesn't happen. <laughs> so we'll see exactly uh, if Evan makes it to the um, to the final, what he's, what he's running there. Uh, although this list, I think, is the list we actually had on stream earlier today when Evan was playing in round yeah. four or five, I think. Same list. Uh, <clears throat> And it's a great little list, I think. Uh, Forlom solid, Guri solid, uh, and Palom solid. All three of those ships are, are very good. And uh, on that note, over on the mm-hmm. other semifinal table, we have Robin McNeil mm-hmm. versus Christian Jeremy. Uh, I did not see what Robin was running, but uh, Christian is running a total jank list. He's got Ved Foslo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and along with Ved, he's got Seventh Sister a striker, and a new squadron with an ion cannon. This sounds exactly like something uh, he would run. <laughs> he, he did not understand the rules, but he did not have the same list for all three matches. He, and he's a couple beers in, so he, either Ved is going to win him the PTL Open, or he's not. One way or the other, it's going down. <clears throat> all right, so got still getting dials down for this round. Um, so which one's number one? So Wedge is up top. It looks like he's deciding to flank with Wedge, Bohan here, uh, while Luke and Thane and Sabine kind of hang out together. <clears throat> and meanwhile, what do you think? What do you think Evan's gonna do with with Forlom here? Um, well, he's got to contend with that uh, those nine red dice coming at him. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I think his best move might be a stall. I don't Did know. Just stop in this turn? Yeah. Yeah, that might work. He um, might get lucky and only have Sabine in range. Still, if I was Bohan, I'd do the four straight with the whole list. We'll see if he uh, links off the barrel roll. He doesn't. It's four straight. Yep. There's the four straight. He's coming for the kill. Four straight's white, I assume? I believe so. I haven't looked at that thing's mm. dial. I don't own one. Never owned an attack shuttle. And it's uh, a neat little ship, I think. Does it still have a turret slot? Uh, yes, it does. It does still have a turret slot. Hmm. The prevailing wisdom is that that's not worth putting on it. Probably. Points. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like Palob may be out of token stealing range. Well, Palob's real target may be Wedge. Yeah, I'm willing to bet Guri's going to follow Palob in that same direction. So one great thing here is that uh, advanced sensors, he's got advanced sensors, and he uses that for the barrel roll, programs a red maneuver, and uh, tries to remember exactly how the medium base barrel roll works, right, since yes. everybody forgets. <laughs> the and key. he's out of there. Yep. Just peeling out. It's yeah. a good move. Now those X-wings with foils closed will <clears> be able to boost and chase. So it's he's not completely out of the woods. 
He might be able to stay out of range three there while he peels after Wedge. I feel like... Um, oh, was that only a two bank? Hmm? I guess that was only a two bank. From? From Forlom. Hmm. Because there's no stress. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> right, sorry, go on, Mike. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, they might be able to get a range three shot at him. Uh-oh. We nudged Sabine there, but it looks like it's fine. Um, he might be able to pull off a... Uh, uh, a couple of range three shots from Luke and Thane. Mm -hmm. But the question is whether or not um, that'll be actually painful for him. I mean, Luke has the uh, force token, so. Yep, yep. Porlom, of course, has elusive on him, which, yes. which helps make him a little bit tankier than you'd expect him to be. Also, he's gained a hull since first edition. Uh, so there, um, the G1A is actually... Uh, Surprisingly tough. Yeah. So it looks like Guri and the gang are all peeling after Wedge, trying yep. to take him out. They're just trying to tank. But it looks like Bohan's called it. <coughs> He's doing a slow move. And it looks like he may have the rock for protection for the shot versus Palob. From Palob shot, yeah. yeah. So Still. he's doing something with the wings. We looks couldn't like see what it was. Opening them? Most likely, well, yeah. Closing them. Yeah, I think he was opening them. Since he's not going any further, he's just going to focus. No, he said, he said close on the air. Oh. Did he? I mean, sometimes people misspeak, so <laughs> we'll sure. have to see by the results. <clears throat> Looks like it's a range three shot against Guri, and... Uh, no, he, had, he did open them, I guess. Uh, we didn't see if he had ranged to Palob. Uh, it looked like he didn't. Uh, so that's just one hit. That's hot. Uh, three hits, actually, by spending the focus. And, and Guri takes two. Guri takes two. That's a really unfortunate this early in the game. It is. Um, <clears throat> it was the risk, however, that Evan was taking. Yeah. Guri has a... Oh. Ooh, and only one die back. Or one hit back. And Wedge <laughs> evades. Counterattack. Yeah. We're <laughs> going so quick here, it's tough to see what's happening. I think they need to be a little bit more careful with their dice. Uh, so, uh, Wedge and Guri shot each other. Uh, looks like Guri took two hits. Now Luke is shooting on four. And Wedge took none. One of eight. Forlom has danced away from Luke's shot. Mm -hmm. So it looks like Sabine is out. Yeah, it looks like Sabine will be taking a shot against Palob. Yep. Sabine was at range. Yeah, of Forlom. Oh, of and, oh. and Evan Blanks again. Mm hmm. So that's the round done, and nothing <laughs> happened except Guri took two. So uh, Mars Mike Beard here in the chat says Wedge is the bait, and yeah, it kind of looks like that, doesn't it? Um, Evan's seemingly falling for it. I understand Evan not wanting to joust uh, those three ships at the bottom of the screen here, but um, uh, but in doing so, in, in turning towards Wedge, he's got those three um, just kind of having a field day with them. Why did Wedge only th throw two defense dice? He must have made a mistake. Yeah, good question. It, it didn't like he matter because he, yeah. he evaded what was coming at him. Yeah. Um, or the answer to your question was he was so unimpressed by the attack roll that he, he just let her have a chance. All right. All right, so back to Giles. Yep. Um, the question is here, what do you do if you are Evan? I probably advance sensors barrel roll with Guri and then do like a one straight. Or two straight, something like that. Um, and just let Wedge walk into my field of fire. Uh, Palob though, hmm. Palob's sitting, uh, kind of a sitting duck here. Uh, mm -hmm. The group uh, at the bottom, Thane and Luke and Sabine, can just kind of turn up through the middle of the map and take him out. Um, mm -hmm. Forlom, I would probably do some sort of barrel roll hard one situation. Uh, <laughs> I, I, my, my view here is that uh, Evan, having committed to Wedge, should stay on Wedge. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. I mean, Wedge could do a three turn to Wedge's right and boost and try to escape. To peel out towards the board edge? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. 
but mm. on the other hand, or possibly even the other way. But if just one of those ships, if two of those ships get arc, it could be pretty bad for Wedge. And they can go pretty fast, right? I mean, Palop can force straight and boost. Yep. Um, I don't think Guri wants to go fast, but uh, Forlom can do a three bank, and with the barrel roll, move quite a distance. So he barrel rolls first with advanced sensors. Right, yes. Probably do that back towards his own barrel uh, board edge and three bank away from it. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm feeling, so that he can get uh, line up with Guri and Palab. Plus, it doesn't uh, doesn't give Luke a straight line to him. Um, Thane can do it, but he'll have to move really fast. So, Luke, it looks like, is actually pointing straight towards that rock um, yep. a little bit. I think Bohan misjudged his position just a tiny bit. Uh, so he's going to actually have to be careful on the approach. He can't just force straight here. Uh, <coughs> otherwise, he lands on that rock. Thane, on the other hand, is free reign. He can just go go forward. So Al Truzine seventy seven says Palop can even block with a boost. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the the question here is is Wedge just going to do the obvious one uh, forward of some variety, or is he going to three turn and bail? Do you bail? Hmm. I would probably just join the fight. I'm not the bailing type. Like I, I, I never really think in that way yep. uh, myself. Uh, Wedge's ability is just so good. You want to be using it to do damage. Um, and even if you lose Wedge, if you manage to, you know, put five or six damage out before he dies, mm -hmm. um, he's done his job. Uh, so it might be worth uh, might be worth just going forward with Wedge here and pinch, uh, pinching uh, Evan's list between between the two. Uh, Wedge and, and Luke. It was really unfortunate for Evan that Palab was out of range of mm. Wedge um, because that would have given him the extra bit of... I mean, that, he might have got a one or two damage on uh -huh. and then have a good chance of killing Wedge next in this coming round. But he did not. Not so, so much, no. I think the, the first round shows that uh, Evan was not prepared for Bohan to rush him as he did. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh, sorry. I mean, I, I guess he did. He uh, he I did mean, he did get four long out, So looks like he was doing what he could there. My worry here for Evan is that four long's actually kind of um, far, like not in a great position to actually use his abilities. Um, uh, four long you want at range one, right? So you can hand off the stress. Uh, you can use triple zero. Uh, and all that good stuff. Uh, looks like Sabine just lands on the rock. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. That's a big deal. Yep. That that's uh, that's great news. It takes and she a hit takes even. damage. Yeah. Um, that's great news for Evan. Um, he can uh, just kind of ignore her now, right? And if she's on the rock, that means um, Luke's going to have trouble getting past it or getting a, lining up a good shot here. Uh, now these are brand new. Uh, uh, turret markers from Curled Paw, which oh, yeah. have the PTL logo on, which the top cut won. Um, unfortunately, I have no idea which way Pelob's turret is pointing. I think it's pointing towards us here, yeah, uh, towards maybe. towards ship right. <laughs> yeah, it's a little hard to tell from from the from the angle here, but I'm pretty sure it points. Yeah, that, that's the pointy end uh, towards the ship's right. So <clears throat> he's going for the throat. And rotating the turret, mm -hmm. and it looks like a target lock on Wedge. So he he plans to kill Wedge good here. Oh, and it's just another two bank. Two bank, huh? Nothing fancy. Actually, that's fine though. It keeps him lined up with everybody. Um, problem is Luke. So Luke is either not going to have a shot or going to have an obstructed shot. Yep. Right? Um, he can't boost this turn unless the S-foils are closed. But if They that's still are. Um, and actually, he chooses that when he act yes. activates anyways. Uh, problem is, if he were to, like, say, bank and then boost, he'll only be rolling two dice on his attack instead of three. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so that is a bump, it looks like. But uh, it's okay because it's Luke. Did you remember to open his foils? I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see when shooting starts. Yep. I would assume he's planning on opening it. They're all open, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
And we have the... Thane going around. Yep. So Luke's got those force tokens. He just doesn't have a chance to get a target lock, which would have really helped here. Yes. <clears throat> and Thane is going for a lock. I do like these. Whoa. Ooh, interesting. Look at Guri coming in hot. So Guri doing a three bank. There, he's probably going to follow that up with a barrel roll. Hmm. I would not be surprised. Hmm. Yep, there it is. Yep. Gotta love those curved barrel rolls. Yep, and we can't forget that uh, Guri has outmaneuver. Yep. Uh, so if Wedge does like a one forward or something like that, Guri has a perfect shot. Um, ooh. Ooh, nice block. <clears throat> that is really bad news for Wedge. Um, Guri's going to have a range one shot without maneuver, so four dice against Wedge's one die. Yep. Uh, and Wedge has no focus tokens to help save him. Um, so They're seeing if Wedge has arc on Forlom, apparently does not. We go to Bohan's fives. So that's Guri? No, it's Bohan's no. fives first. Sorry, Bohan's fives, yes, of course. Uh, Luke on Forlom. Two hits. Two hits. Forlom with three dice. Trip evades. There we go. You can't hit that boy. Thane on Forlom, also two hits. Is he spending the... Range three? Yeah, he's not... Oh, yeah, he is spending the lock. And throwing the die on the floor, which right. was crazy audible for no reason. <laughs> and, and two dice. Is he going to use Elusive to reroll one? Yep. And get not nothing. So Elusive is really useful if you have a token. If not, the odds are not great. Yeah, it goes from... I mean, it might work for a Hail Mary, but... Um, yeah, it's not, not super ideal. Uh, so Bohan let, uh, let Guri have her focus late, and she's only rolled one eyeball. Oof. Ouch, 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 ouch. Wedge takes it. Oh. <laughs> Still, that is, that is a... That is um, We're showing really some. unfortunate for such a perfectly lined up shot to only have rolled one paint. Some bad luck. Yeah, and some bad luck. <clears throat> but as we've been saying in, in, in previous games, um, uh, dice variance is a thing now, again. Like yes. it used to be, which is probably a good thing. It is a dice game. For uh, the balance of the game, yes, it's yeah, great. it's absolutely For good every thing. round where you do less well than you should have, or yeah. you could have, you can complain. Yeah. <laughs> so hit crit, go into wedge. From Forlom. From Forlom. Nice. And it looks like Palop has no shot. Nope. Uh, and Sabine has no shot because Sabine is sitting on a rock. Yep. We got a blinded pilot on a wedge. Oh, amazing. It's okay. I mean, you uh, it's something you don't actually mind that much as crits go on wedge. Because mm -hmm. you're still shooting. And one of the things which is powerful on wedge is just the proportion of dice. Right? So we've got uh, a birthday party downstairs in the lower level of this place, and we've got, um, and it's for you know not a younger set, <laughs> and we've got some some waltz music, some Patsy Cline drifting up. There was some nice jazz coming up, uh, like big band jazz coming up earlier in the day. I think that ended up <laughs> on the stream a little bit. It was very loud, um, but uh, you know we've got some entertainment going on here. Indeed. It's good uh, X-Wing mood music. Uh, so, Forlom's taken three damage. Guri's taken two. Wedge has taken three. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's blinded. Still, this is a good position for Guri going forward. So, uh, sorry, Lord of Atan is asking, why did someone throw only two dice? Who are you referring to? Who threw only two dice? I'm pretty sure everyone threw as many dice as they should have. I mean, we're not actually privy to the... We have no markers for the position of those S-foils, so at any point, the X-Wings could be throwing only two dice. True, so yes. Close yes, foils. Yes, yeah, true. The S-foils could be closed on some of those ships. We're inferring from the number of dice we see to the position of the S-foils. Yeah. Because that's all we can do. Uh, Luke and Thane are still terrifying for Evan's list, even if Wedge takes a couple rounds off. Yep. Yeah. Um, Palob's in a position where he's got to clear that stress and think about repositioning his arc. Uh, yeah, for Palob, I'd probably just do a one bank or something and point my arc backwards. Uh, in fact, that's probably a good move. Uh, one bank towards Guri and then point the arc back. Yep. Yep. 
If it clears wedge. Pretty sure when you're bumped at that kind of angle, uh, one bank will clear pretty yeah. easily. I, I can't uh, quite tell because of the stream thingy, but yeah. Agreed. And Sabine can barrel roll herself off the rock. True. Before she activates. Barrel roll, evade. Oh, wow. That is a neat little combo. Barrel roll, evade. Uh, and then... Well, it's not like TIE Phantom with Juke powerful, right. but yes. it, it's decent. Can you get... Does she have a um, she talent does. slot? You can get Juke on her? I believe she does, yeah. I feel like Sabine with Juke would be a nice little combo. Yeah. I think, though, then every Proton Torpedo in your enemy's list is coming for Sabine in round one. I mean, but that's fine. Um, yeah. Because you've got other ships in there in your list as well, right? Sure. Uh, let them shoot Sabine while your other big heavy hitters are uh, ignoring those torps, right? Well, I really like this uh, list of Bohans. I mean, there's nothing uh, going for him, going on for him here except raw skill, right? And dice. Mm -hmm. Like, either he gets those X Wings where they need to be and rolls hot and wins, or he doesn't and doesn't. All right, so Sabine not doing any sort of barrels, just doing a... Two straight. Two, three straight? Three straight, three straight it looks like. Um, I wonder why. It's I'm willing block. to bet... Uh, oh. And block who? There's no one... Well, she's blocking the barrel roll from... Yep. Forlom, I guess. Although, Forlom, if you've dialed in a one bank here, you could barrel roll farther away from Sabine, and then one bank out of Sabine's arc towards the rock. So if, if indeed Bohan did put Sabine there for the purpose of blocking a barrel roll this way, it's probably because he wants to stop uh, uh, Forlom from uh, getting in his X-Wing's way and throwing mm. stress on them. Evan is having a long think. Well, that's what happens when you're running ships with advanced sensors on yep. them. <laughs> uh, Got advanced sensors on are, two of your ships. Yeah. Mm. Suddenly your options are a lot more complicated. Uh, that being said, so Guri is exactly where she wants to be, right? I'm sure Luke and Thane are coming in from that direction, but uh, right now she's got perfect range on Fen, or uh, not Fen, uh, Wedge, mm -hmm. um, and can just do what she wants to him. Mm-hmm. No, Wedge's best move might be a four straight, then boost. Get the heck out. Hard one from Forlom. Yep. Oh, that's interesting. Not even remotely blocked by Sabine. Nope. Uh, and arc it looks like even Sabine. Yeah, it looks like he even managed to arc dodge her entirely. So he gets the calculate and a stress for that. Yep, but that's okay. He's going to be handing that stress off to Sabine at the end of the round or to someone else. Yep. And Evan ruins the game state. <laughs> And then we've got a one bank in the direction opposite to the one we predicted. Yep, but that's also fine. Yeah, uh, it gets out of the way of Guri, which is which is totally fine. Yeah. Um, it's going to point his arc backwards, probably, so that he has a shot. It, it would have been better had we, had he gone the direction we predicted, but that's fine. <laughs> we'll do all right. <laughs> we know the best moves always, every time. <clears throat> in all seriousness, um, these two are excellent players. Yeah. Uh, I, as they've managed to one make the top cut here at the PTL Open, but also like we said, Bohan Lee is a national champion uh, from yeah. last year, the year before. Yeah, I mean they're, they're always top, recently top ranked players at whatever events they're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These two are excellent players with creative lists. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and Bohan ruins the game state. <laughs> here comes Thane, who has an excellent shot on Forlom. Yeah, he's also range one. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, Forlom has not taken any damage cards yet, so if Luke also gets a shot on Forlom, Luke can try to bust through those shields, and then Thane can play with Forlom's innards with his pilot ability. Right. If you understood what I'm yep. saying there. Yep. And there's Luke, who is yep. also turning towards Forlom. So that's uh, two X Wings <laughs> at range one. And the thing about two X Wings at range one is oof. it's a lot of dice. Yeah. I'm kind of wondering what. Um, uh, so we've got the pre move barrel roll from Guri. Yeah, I didn't see a way for her just to do a, a maneuver. She's probably doing a one straight here, yeah. maybe a two straight. Yeah. Um, now, what was I saying? We were kind of wondering what, what uh, Bohan, no, sorry, what Evan was thinking doing the hard one with Forlom. 
to block some things maybe, but didn't manage to block anything and is just in a really bad state. Nope. Oh, well, okay, I spoke too soon. He managed to block Wedge. Yep. Uh, that's fine, though, from Bohan's perspective. Just keeps Wedge safe from that potential shot, and uh, Forlom's going to take a lot of damage yep. here. Uh, he'll shoot with Luke first, cause some damage cards, then shoot with Thane, and hopefully flip one up for an extra crit. Absolutely. Right? <clears throat> Um, I think this is a pretty good recovery round for, for Evan. Like, his dice have not been helping him. Mm -hmm. And he needed something to come back and this block on Wedge uh, with any luck. And I think there's a shot from Palob there, depending um, on where his turret is. I think it's pointed towards us now. Yeah, it doesn't look like he pointed it backwards, uh, which I think is what he needed to do to be able to shoot We'll see when they wedge. shoot. So we got Luke shooting in... Oh, with the target lock into... Oh, this is so bad for Forlom. But he's refreshed his elusive. Yep. So it's three three go through. Three hits on Forlom. Yep. So Forlom has got two damage cards. And now Thane is going to play with his innards <laughs> or, or just kill him. Oh, wow. That's three hits and yep. a crit. Yeah. So that, that was the old green die there. And there's Whoa. nothing we can do. Forlom is super dead. That is hit, hit, crit, and You're finishes right. him off. Before he even shoots. Yeah. Oh, no. No, he's still on the board. What? We must have. No, he does not. Uh, what did we miss? One health left. Yeah, he's on the oh. one health for some Okay, reason. we must have mis mis um, misread the numbers somewhere. Uh, one health, and he's taken... Oh, that's hilarious. Product. Can he only handle, hand away one, or can he hand away all stress? Uh, Forlom can only hand away one stress per turn. I think Wedge just took a hit crit. From Gary? Yep. Hmm. That's real unfortunate. I missed it. There's it was, a blinded pilot for Wedge. Blinded, hmm. And something I don't understand is happening. Evan has rolled four dice or something. One of eight... Stuff that would be Forlom shot. Yeah. Oh, he can shoot Forlom and Palob in any order he chooses. Yeah. Okay, so it seems you were correct, and he does not have Archon Wedge. Just going to shoot at Luke. <clears throat> That's a real shame. If you manage to have Ar Archon Wedge, he, he might be able to finish him. Just one hit. Safe. Somebody rolled three greens. I don't know who that was. All right. So that's the end of the round, I think. So... Um, Forlom's going to pass a stress to somebody. Now, who'd you stress here? Um, you know, it's really tempting <coughs> to go for Luke, Thane, or Sabine, but I think you double stress Wedge. So that he can't run away? So that he's just hopeless. Puts it on Luke. Puts it on Luke, okay. Not seeing a stress token on Luke there. Oh, on Thane. No, Luke. Luke. Okay, okay, there it is. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> it is a really good ability, but that Panic Pilot is... It's actually probably one of the harshest crits in that deck. It um, may be the worst. Uh, getting a single stress uh, thrust control fire, I think it was, in, yep. in 1.0 was not terrible. You just do a blue maneuver the next turn. You're, you're good yep. to go. Double stress, though, means you are stuck for at least one turn of being able to not do much. Yep. Um, so it is very limiting, that that card, uh, especially for a ship like uh, Forlom with advanced sensors um, and with uh, uh, Forlom's ability. You want to do red maneuvers, right? You've got elusive, so you want to do those red maneuvers. Can't do any of it because you are stressed, yes. super stressed. Um. I guess putting the stress on Luke prevents a K-turn here. True. Yeah, no K-turn from Luke. Or um, Talon. But we'll probably see one from Thane. Yeah, his angle isn't entirely suited to that. I guess you try to figure out what Forlom is going to do first. He can't stall and he can't K-turn because he has two stress. If he wants to, um, excuse me, if he wants to clear, uh, clear one of those stress, he would probably just do, what, a two straight? Something like that? Yeah, I would assume that he's going to die uh, before I clear that stress, though, if I'm Evan. Forlom is probably going to die. Yeah, that's true. Um, <clears throat> Sabine can also do a K turn if she wants. Yep. How many attack does that thing have? Three? Three. Thing's more powerful than it seems. Mm hmm. 
feel like the dial's probably nothing to sneeze at either. Well, as we've seen, um, Forlom does not have the green dice, even rolling an evade every time to mm -hmm. repel firepower of that magnitude. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can only take so many shots, even if you've got elusive on you. Yeah, um, three dice attack ships are pretty solid if your dice go hot. Uh huh. So Palab probably hard two towards the bottom, so he can keep his turret arc on um, on these ships. Mm hmm. Uh, Guri two bank. It'd be really nice if Guri could just do her maneuver and not have to advance sensors. You don't have to barrel. Yeah, yeah. you can always just take a target lock or uh, mm -hmm. uh, target lock or focus uh, at that. Or sorry, a calculate at that point. Um, and it looks like that's this kind of turn, right? Guri can just take a target lock on wedge and uh, and then follow it up with the two banks so that she's uh, right behind him. I think if Evan can, and I can't tell from the position of the ships, the best thing he can do is try to block maneuvers with Forlom. <clears throat> but I'm mm. not sure if the, the two turn to Forlom's right will leave him up there or if he'll pass beyond Luke. To Forlom's right. Yep. Um, he might pass beyond Luke and land on the rock. Yeah. That's my guess. Man, we're getting some serious crooner tunes going on down mm -hmm. there. I think I just heard my way. <laughs> okay, dial's triple checked. Looks like we're good to go. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Forlom does a stop? He can't. He's got stress. Oh, that's right. Of course he can't. Yeah. I mean, ideally, sure. Yeah. That would be great. So we... What do you do with two one straight? Boost. One boost. From Sabine. Yep. Two turn. Mm -hmm. he's no evading this turn. He's thinking about getting back on Guri. <coughs> uh, if we got a two bank from Guri, then she's going to be out of Sabine's arc. So we got a That's one bank. It looks like that is prevented. Where's that judge? Yeah, one bank is very much blocked. Let's get judge, little, get on this. <laughs> getting a little messy in there. Yep. Uh, that's all right. Forlom's doing what Forlom does, which is get in the way. I think that was the, absolutely the only thing he could do in this situation. Yeah, he could have turned the other way or something, but then he would just be facing nothing and uh, having no real shot um, and just opening himself up to get shot. Mm -hmm. Surprising not to see a K-turn from the attack shuttle, actually. There's the hard two from Palob, which is what we were expecting. Yeah, now he can boost to give himself a little bit better position in subsequent rounds. Try to stay one step ahead of those X-Wings. He's going to do it. Good call. Yep. It's often a good idea when you're flying a turret. Mm -hmm. uh, these new turrets, you stay one step ahead, speeding around in, in circles. Yeah, you want to go as fast as you can. Yep. And with that uh, primary turret, uh, Palab can throw his dice even at range three. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Luke has cleared stress with one straight. Now, Forlom does have a shot. Or, sorry, uh, no, Forlom does not have a shot here. Nope. Palab does have a shot at Luke, I think. Yep. Um, Maybe even a primary one. I don't think it's primary, but. It's range arc. three through a rock, so Pretty like, sure who he cares? Has a side arc. Um, well, he's got one for sure. Okay, we get an advanced sensors for a lock, or no? Sorry, that was uh, Luke's lock on Taguri. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, uh, uh, Bohan is thinking long game here. Um, he knows that he's going to finish Forlom right now, and uh -huh. then he's going to begin to think about chasing down and killing Guri. 
So all Forlom has to do, or um, all Bohan has to do is uh, take a shot at Forlom with Thane there, who is going to be able to dig into his damage cards and flip one up, right? Um, before or, you even resolve dice. So as long as one of them is a direct hit, that is a dead yes. Forlom. Um, so that's going to be pretty uh, pretty good. There's almost no way Forlom's getting out of that unless... Uh, <clears throat> There is some really unfortunate rolling by Bohan. So, wow, Evan is daring the boost here. Oh, I see. Not a boost, a barrel barrel. roll. Yeah, sorry. He's trying to dodge Thane's arc because Thane can use his stuff on Guri. Right. Guri has a damage card. If if Bohan's feeling lucky, he could could try that. And we've got what looks like a two-bank from Wedge. Where's that going? So Wedge is going to get himself a focus token if he wants it. Yeah, that's what he wants. <clears throat> yeah, that's and what you do. some people Run still have focus. locks on Wedge, but I'm not sure who that is. I think that might be Guri's lock. Zero, zero, zero. Would anyone like a stress? <laughs> or does Forlom get a probably useless calculate? Yeah, calculate this turn would be not provide anything. So, of course, you give him the calculate, right? Yeah. <clears throat> and that's the interesting thing, thing about that card is it's the opponent's choice. Luke is down two shields. I didn't notice that before. Footloose is kicking it in the basement now. <clears throat> All right, so we see must be Thane. Yeah, so Thane is rerolling something with a target lock, canceling an eyeball. Three hits, and so four Lom is just goners. Right. There was no direct hit in there. Nope. Looks like that's okay. He takes the other damage and dies. Yes. Now. Um, with Thane's ability, it procs after, uh, sorry, before you actually resolve the dice, right? Yes, before yes, the defender yes. rolls dice? It's, you roll, and then during your modified dice step, you can take one of your uh, results away. Oh, Evan gets lucky. Wedge rolls nothing and mm-hmm. dies. I mean, that was unsurprising. Wedge only had um, uh, one hit point left, and Guri has that maneuver. Which she now, I mean, now it's an arc dodging game for Guri. Mm-hmm. And Paolo rules garbage as well. And Guri has the, um, sorry, Bohan has initiative, right? So Guri's moving second? Yes. So that's actually great. Um, I know Guri's already taken a couple damage, but this is the sort of situation in which Guri excels. She could possibly actually take out uh, Bohan's whole list mm-hmm. if she really tries. Uh, I've seen it happen, uh, so hopefully that'll happen. Um, so, so I, I don't think so, Altruzine. Uh, Altruzine is asking if uh, if um, Forlom's cards, damage cards, went back on top of the damage deck. I don't, I don't think so. Uh, we do have judges out there who are watching, so um, hopefully it's not uh, not an issue. Yeah, don't worry about it. Um, so <clears throat> let's see. Um, Two or three straight from Palab. Continue with the um, keep the arc where it is. Guri. Guri's got a tricky job here. Luke's probably going to K turn, maybe even Talon roll. Mm-hmm. I would Talon roll with Luke, actually. Uh, to the right? Uh, to Luke's right? To Luke's right. It'll put you just behind that rock, um, but in a good shot to shoot Guri wherever Guri lands. Yes. In a good place. Um, if you do the K turn, you're farther out. Uh, so you might have to deal with being at range three, but you have a wider area in which you're covering. Uh, so both of those are pretty good options for Luke. Uh, and again, he doesn't care so much about his actions because he has those force charges. Yes. Um, <clears throat> Sabine will just swing around the rock with a two or three bank or hard three, maybe. Does that thing have a hard three? Uh, it does, but they're red. Hmm. So maybe not. She'll stay away from red maneuvers as much as is possible. Mm-hmm. 
since it ruins her ability in the subsequent round. Thane I might actually 4k here with. Really? Because both Guri and Palov are going to be in front of you. I might uh, Talon roll with... Yeah. I, I think I'd just do a two turn towards Palob with Thane. Thane? Hmm. Yeah. Talon roll might work here though. Um, Whatever the X-Wings do, one of the things that Evan's got to be thinking about is the old boost uh, sloop. <clears throat> right? They all point towards her and Palob, so mm -hmm. she just overshoots them. Right. It's not a great option because then she'll be stressed in the subsequent round. Can't use the advanced sensors. But... Got to be careful about that. Uh, Semantex, there was no demand for the Destiny side event, so no, it did not occur. It's a bit of a shame. No. Um... Never really, never did get into that game. I hear interesting things. Yeah. For Destiny. But, I, uh, I don't do collectible card games. Yeah, I mean, it's bad enough that we collect X-Wing, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I hear fun things about the game, but uh, uh, unfortunately it just doesn't have the... Um, it, it just doesn't have the following uh, that, say, X-Wing does here. Uh, I think part of the problem is there's just so many other card games. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, whereas X-Wing is one of the only um, accessible miniatures games in the city, uh, in, in Toronto. I mean, you know, there's Warhammer and War Machine and all these sort of, uh, other sort of things. But x wings so easy for players to get into. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you don't have to paint anything. The, sh the ships cost a lot less than Warhammer, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. Uh, so it's kind of the miniatures game here, right? Um, I mean, we do have contingents of Warhammer players and so on, but oh yeah, tons. but the X-wing community is is pretty big here. Yes. So there's only 29 minutes left. Yeah, I think they've been taking a long time with their dials. Uh, it's a very thinky game going on here. Uh, so Ultrazine's asking how popular Armada is here. Uh, we have a small Armada contingent, right? Oh, this is the center of the Armada scene. In North America. In North America? Is, Toronto. Is Toronto? Oh, it's, 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 it's got a pretty decent size scene. Yeah. yeah. Travis uh, is correcting me. But. I'm curious. How, like, I don't know how many players we have, but we've got, we've got a, a decent number of players here who go to tournaments and things like that. Um, every once in a while, they take over stores on the same nights that are X-Wings nights, and there's, there's much chagrining at each there's other. There's some nice fights. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, we actually love the Armada players. A lot of people who play both, Armada and X-Wing. Um, uh, I think x wings still the more accessible of the two games. Sure. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just faster and easier to play. Um, but, uh, we, so we do have a bit of a, a bit of a group of players, though. Sweet. All right, so Sabine is just boosting and peeling out. No, 4K. Yep. Interesting. She's trying to get behind yep. Guri. Yeah, trying to get behind Guri with Sabine. Uh, Palov's probably just doing a straight or bank. I think straight is the only... Looks, looks like a two bank. Oh, yeah? Is Just that cutting, blue? S cutting right around the rock. Oh, no, he doesn't care. Yeah. Doesn't care if it's blue because he's holding on to those two focus tokens. Yep. Yep. Looks like Bohan's going, well, I don't get to keep focus tokens anyway, so I'll just 4K everything. Yep. <clears throat> so there's a 4K from Luke. And, and a one bank from Thane. That I find interesting. Um, I would have thought a 4K from Thane would be uh, perfect because Guri would end up in front of him. That one bank is, I think, kind of doomed to failure. Uh, Guri's going to bump into him, maybe, so that Luke gets a shot um, against a bumped Guri. But Guri gets a free focus token when she bumps. Yes. Uh, so it's really not that much of an issue for Guri. Uh, <clears throat> well, I think what Evan has to do here is make sure he's not taking two shots. Mm -hmm. Now, if, he, if Evan dialed in a sloop, uh, that would be perfect. End up right behind Thane there. Uh, and also, Evan can advance sensors here. So, yes. um, depending on exactly where he decided, uh, what he dialed in, he might be able to evade some of these arcs pretty easily. Whatever it is, he's taking some think time with it. Mm -hmm. That probably means he's not got something which is great, and Bohan's called him. True. Called A three number. sloop here would have been fantastic if he already had it. Yes. Uh, you just target lock. Oh, that looks like what, he, what he's doing. So he's oh, some, uh, I see. That was all thinking about um, about uh, Thane's action. So oh. Evan didn't hesitate at all. He just does a four straight as planned. Straight at Luke. Are those target locks from... 
Yes, two mm-hmm. Bohan ships. I'm not sure which. Oh, he's got them color coded. So those are Luke's and Thanes. Oh, I see. Yeah, Luke's and Thanes, the target locks. Okay, so <clears throat> um, it looks like so Guri just did a three forward, and I think um, Bohan, or sorry, uh, Evans considering his actions. I would just barrel roll here. You can barrel roll outside of Luke's arc. I'm pretty sure you'd make it. Um, it's hard to tell from this angle, but a, a barrel roll outside of Luke's arc into range one uh, would be great. It looks think, like he's going for the boost instead, which fails. Yes. So no boost, uh, which is a bit of a shame. So I think he decided that the barrel roll northwards was not going to get him out of Luke's arc. Yeah, he must have thought so. Uh, Luke is shooting Guri and only gets... After the target Sorry, lock. Four only hits. four. Only yeah. four. And that's Guri. one evade, and that is a dead Guri, unfortunately. Yes. Yeah. It's a real shame that he wasn't able to uh, dive out of um, his arc. And that was Luke, though. Uh, Luke is PS5, so Guri does get a parting shot. Yes. I mean, there's a slim chance here if uh, Guri can somehow do four damage to Luke, but No such not. luck. And Luke Temple of Aids. Whoa. Oof. He didn't even need the force. That is real harsh for Evan here. It's looking uh, looking really bad for Evan. Uh, for Evan, as much as the um, as much as I love the new Hawks, uh, being able to take out all three of these ships is going to be quite a stretch. Palop's going to get re- revenge. Oh, just two hits against Thane. Yeah. There goes Thane's shields. <clears throat> yeah, it's a shame. I guess he decided that that. Um, that uh, barrel roll wasn't going to get him out of arc. Yeah, well, he did the four straight, which is the fastest he could go. Um, I, I don't see uh, what else he could have done in that situation. For uh, Guri? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he could have target locked instead of attempting the boost, which looked like it was going to fail. I'm not sure why he did that. but Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like a barrel roll would have been better, but it's hard to tell. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Lord of Britannia, you're asking if all three lists must be from different factions, or can they be from the same faction? Uh, yes, they can be from the same faction. The only restriction is that you do not use the same named pilot twice. Um, so you could have three scum lips, lists, but you're only allowed having Palob in one of them, or Guri in one of them, for example. Um, yes. Uh, that's generally the rule. We don't restrict factions or anything like that. Um, I think we've considered it, but the part of the problem is most players don't play three factions. Yes. Uh, we do have a lot of players who do own ships from all three, three factions. I myself play exclusively Rebel and Scum, mm-hmm. um, but there are a lot of people who don't play all three. Especially with 2.0, some people have decided to offload uh, one of the factions they had, uh, such that they only focus on two, uh, one or two now. Um, so, no, the lists do not have to be different factions. Um, It'd be too much trouble to force players to uh, to try uh, to collect all the different factions, really. All right. Palab just taking a one bank here, holding on to all those focus tokens still, taking a evade with debris gambit. And yeah, uh, Mike Beard, same thing, right? When there are seven factions, chances are most players are only going to be playing one or two. Uh, maybe three. I might consider buying into a third at some point. Yeah. I'm, I'm honestly debating whether or not I even want to get into resistance when it comes out. Oh, really? As much as I love my T-70s, um, do I want to start collecting a third faction? I don't know, man. Uh, I think you'll see the previews for the T-70s yeah, and, and you'll be I'll like, be oh, I'm in. Yeah, I'll yeah, be yeah. excited again. I mean, I love those T-70s. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> That was your list, man, the triple yeah. T-70s. It's not going to be the same anymore, though. Sure, it'll be better. <laughs> well, we'll see what they do with BB-8, if I can still get my free barrel rolls. Uh, you can't. Mm. And we've got just one crit. Palob dodges it. And then Luke throws trip blanks. Okay, Oof, maybe gosh. the luck will switch enormously. Oh, target lock. <laughs> just one. And Palab just spends his evade. Mm-hmm. So um, we'll see what happens here. That was a lot of whiffing, it looks like. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, Mike Beard uh, in the chat there. Um, some oh, of the resistance damage, stuff that we've seen so far is, is tantalizing. Uh, we'll see if um, there's some good stuff there. 
So Palob comes out on top, taking no damage, and he manages to put one damage into Thane. Ooh, fun. Yep. <laughs> it's structural damage. Hey, he's making headway. That so, makes that two dice turret um, that much more useful. He's in a rough spot now, though. Ooh, he's got yeah. all three ships uh, so in I think a position I, to kill box him. What I would do here is what? Do they have a white three bank or a red three bank? I believe it's white, yeah. White? Yeah. I would white three bank towards the attack shuttle. Yeah. Right? Uh, Luke will either be 4Kng again, um, but, uh, you know, you peel out that way. Um, and if Luke 4Ks, then he doesn't have target lock, etc., etc., and he's at range 3. Um, and if he doesn't 4K, then he's not going to have a shot on Palop. Right? Thane is stressed and has that rock in the way. Mm -hmm. So being beside the rock would be useful, and you'll be able to, again, white evade to get that... Uh, uh, using to regambit, mm -hmm. uh, but now you're going to be face to face with the attack shuttle. Yes, he was undamaged. No, no, she took one. Yeah, damage. she took one, and those two shoot at the same time, Palob and Sabine. Yep. Hmm. I mean, unless Evan gets miracle dice. There's one bank. Interesting. Yep. So one bank potentially blocks. Um, Luke, but if Luke does 4K, then he's in a perfect perfect position for that range one shot. Um, which is why I would have considered the three bank. But here we are. Uh, looks like he focused again to get an extra focus token mm -hmm. instead of taking an evade. Yeah, he's, he's going to take all three shots here. Yeah, yeah, it's really unfortunate. Well, no, not all three, unless, is that a 4K? Yep, yes. looks like. And Thane was a two forward. Yeah, see the uh, the three bank. Black Jensen says Bohan is doing well still. Yeah, yep. it, it, it's a bit of an understatement to call this <laughs> doing, doing well. well. Yes. Yeah, so he's, this um, is raw murder you're watching here, yeah, Bo, uh, uh, Black Bohan, Jensen. He's, he's doing. Yeah, he's doing fine. Just yeah, doing, doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Bohan has been doing consistently well in this game. Yeah. Um, uh, Evan has just not been able to really. Uh, An early attack rush. Yep. Uh, by Bohan was a good uh, tactical call mm -hmm. and then the dice just favored Bohan hard and you know I mean Evan's down a ship he needed uh, some dice luck uh, Mike Beard says I thought Canadians were not into murder no that is entirely untrue we're just into Look at very this slaughter. friendly polite murder uh, <laughs> As you can imagine, uh, these two are um, probably joking it out, uh, joking it up on. Uh, Whoa, Palob has. Whoa, Palob killed Thane. Yeah. How about that? Uh, and is sitting on one health, um, but it looks like Sabine is going to shoot Palob, and this is probably going to be the end of the game. But we'll see. That is hit crit and a couple blanks. Blank out, and that's the end.